Kane and Lynch 2. Um, this is a game that uh, was obviously made uh, because you are watching a review for it. But it was also a game that no one thought was ever going to be made. Um, so, look, just for context, Kane and Lynch 1 uh, reviewed poorly. Um, it was just a train wreck all the way through. Bad game, uh, bad ending, all the characters were unhappy at the end. Just no real resolve at the end of the game. On top of it, frustrating. Uh, there was a part in that game that took me at least an hour to get through with my brother. Uh, granted, we were playing on hard. Um, it was it was just a bad, bad game. Uh, just look up Jeff Gersman and Kane and Lynch, and you might understand why it's so shocking they actually made a sequel. Um, but unlike the first game, this game is not bad. Um, it Hello? will not change hey, your uh, life. It will not be the best game you've home. ever played. It may not even okay. be a very memorable game, no, but what yeah. they do well, they do very yeah, well. Um, it's it's not perfect, time. but if Look, uh, if you just want a I'll game to tear stuff up, we'll eat all then three. this is it. Yeah. Uh, it, it does not waste your time. Bye. It's, uh, oh, shoot. A whole lot of filler. It's just right down to the action. And I left this load in here to demonstrate the, the YouTube-ness of this game. So this whole game is done with a uh, digital camera feel. Uh, Kane and Lynch are, are they are arriving. Uh, Kane is arriving in Welcome Shanghai. Um, fucking flight, huh? He's my mind and we're gone, okay? They're meeting up for a deal. Uh, and, and nothing in this game is, is as it seems. Uh, I mean, there's no big Sixth Sense moment, but uh, you, these two just end up getting warped left and right. Um, and uh, Kane is just mostly uh, here for a, for a different deal. And Lynch, uh, being the buffoon that he is, uh, ends up, you know, stirring up a lot of shit, and this guy, Kane clearly, Lynch clearly has beef with, and goes through kicking down every door he sees to get to him. You do not open doors in this game, you just kick straight through them, and they break into tons of pieces, and it's awesome. It never gets old. Um, it just really makes you feel like <laughs> you're, you're about to roll up on some dudes in a big way. Um, this game takes you through a variety of different environments. Uh, we started by walking through an underground, um, or we, we started by running through an air, uh, uh, apartment. And a lot of this game, especially early on, early on, is just apartments and grimy, uh, just, you know, Shanghai underground. And, uh, you are just trying to kill everybody in between you and your next target. Uh, they, there are lots of cool neon lights, and the visual aesthetic that they provide um, allows the light to kind of reflect off the lens and glare out and look really nice. Um, but it's sometimes a bit much. Uh, you'll be engaged in a firefight, and there'll just be blood on your screen and screen of blood all over, and you just can't see a damn thing. <laughs> you think you big man, oh big man, eh? Shooting girl. What are you talking about? You stupid man. You shoot wrong girl. What girl? Girl in market. Shang Su's daughter. No, that couldn't be. Shang Su is more happy. He will kill every one of you. Wang Kai Lynch. All this because of you? This I'll changes tell everything. Shang Su about your loyalty. So these two have screwed up in a very big way, and uh, their homies that were out by their side uh, have turned their backs on them, and you are in very deep shit uh, because of your own blunders. Uh, so as I said before, you go through a variety of different environments, you end up going through apartments, here's, here's a restaurant, uh, it displays the destructible environments very well. Uh, if usually you can shoot through stuff like wood or whatever if it's stone you may not even bother um, but you, you blast certain things and they just fall apart and it looks real great now this is this is the part 
that demonstrates good dialogue. Lynch, I need you to calm down. Go fuck yourself, Kane. Fuck off home. That's what you want. They killed Sue. I'm sorry, okay? We can get out of here. They ain't gonna fucking get away with this. Yes, they are. The dead don't care. Believe me. I know. Look, I want out. But I need to steal. Fucking naked! So, even though you're naked, it does not stop you from running all over the place, sp spreading blood everywhere you go. You eventually collect clothes and you end up uh, running through a skyscraper to make it, uh, just to cut through and get to someone that you're looking for. Um, this probably is the highlight of the game for me. You, you just, you go, uh, through the floors, hit an elevator, you keep going up and a, a, air, a helicopter wrecks and you have to cut through to get through the busted up flight of stairs and I was rocking an LMG most of the time. The LMG is the single greatest gun in the game. It's a blast to use. It's super effective. Nobody can stop you unless there's a billion of them. Uh, and even then they're pretty easy to blow down. Th this game was actually very challenging. Even on easy, uh, it's just not scaled for s uh, solo play. Um, and it's a problem. Uh, it I was playing on normal and I actually reset a level because I just didn't have the time. And there I go again, dying over and over. So this game, it is best played with another player. Um, you'll do fine alone if you play it on easy um, or if you're just real good. But overall, this game is meant to be played with another friend. Uh, if you, but it here's the thing with Kane and Lynch too. It's this is not. If, if you don't like shooters, this game is not for you. Um, but if you're a guy like me and you like action games and you know that most games will not deliver on their story and it's not worth your time, um, then get this game because it's probably going to be near free. Like uh, you can probably get it for five bucks in a bin somewhere. So, I, I give Kane Lynch to uh, 4 out of 5 stars. It is flawed. Um, you run out of ammo too often, uh, and in order to save yourself, you have to run out and try to grab ammo or grab a dude as a hostage, and the hostage move doesn't work half the time, and you die. Um, I died over and over and over. Um, because of this flaw, and uh, it, I don't really know how a game that's all about shooting gives you such a lack of ammo for what seems like three-fourths of the game at least. Um, I had the same problem with Wolfenstein with stopping to pick up ammo all the time. It breaks the flow of the action, and it's just, it's just not as fun as continuing on your big old murder spree. Um, but at any rate, Kane and Lynch 2 gets 4 out of 5 stars for me. Uh, it's actually a shame that the first one was so bad because I have a feeling this game... I, I don't know what the sales numbers were for this game, but I can't imagine they were stellar. Sure. And I have heard nothing about Kane and Lynch since the second one. Um, even though they're dumb characters uh, that are not relatable... It's it's still a badass game, and it's, it's definitely worth your time. Just um, I know reviews typically don't have this kind of warning, but this is not a game for kids. This is not something to play in front of your child. You know, and you saw these guys are running around naked with razor blade cuts all over their body, and it's violent and terrible. And uh, yeah, just be warned. This is an M-rated game. Um, at any rate. Uh, this this has been what I call the rear view review, where I take an old game, semi old, and um, I, I review it as I enjoy it right now. Um, and if it's bad, it's bad. It's good. It's good. Um, I, I will try to omit nostalgia from these reviews uh, because it, it that's not the point. 
nostalgia is what it is, but uh, I want to inform people on is this game or that game still worth playing today? Uh, and in this case, Kane and Lynch is still worth playing today, especially if you can plop down on the couch with a buddy. Um, I played it on Steam, and it looks great on Steam. Um, it would be nice to have more on-off switches for some of the effects, like the bloom and the blood all over the screen. And, uh, you know, in, in really intense spots, it gets to be a bit much, and it's hard to see, uh, and, and it doesn't help the onslaught that's happening upon you all the time. Um, at any rate, um, oh, and also the AI is kind of bad too, so if you're thinking on that, it's whatever. But at any rate, um, this is my first review, so be kind, be patient, you know, it's just, it, I, I literally pieced all this gameplay together, uh, right here, uh, at the end, and I'm even talking beyond the end of my video footage, um, but, uh, if, if you like this review, you know, rate it, give it a thumbs up, pass it on to your friends. Um, I am su successful or not successful based on you, you sharing this with people. Um, if you like podcasting, the Mortal Gamer podcast is something to look up. Um, I'll post a link in the description. Uh, it is just me and... Excuse me, excuse me, myself and my friends, and we discuss video games. And sometimes it's just me talking into a mic, and then I upload it because people have lives, and they cannot always talk about a podcast. So at any rate, um, check out the podcast. Stay tuned for more reviews. Um, give me suggestions for games that you would like me to review. Um, hey, hon in the comments suggest uh, comments section okay. um but no, just be advised if you recommend yeah. some kind of heady yeah, turn-based rpg or something time. like that i won't play it but, um uh, i kind of like action later. games so um, but you know but whatever you yeah. want to recommend too, i will not withhold your opinion Bye. i can't promise i can oh, get to everything like this review took some time and this is a very short game that's actually something i did not mention in the review you can burn through this game in maybe six hours eight hours tops way tops so anyway thanks for watching guys and uh stay tuned for more